Usually when I do my reviews, they tend to revolve around cameras, lenses, and other techie stuff. But when I saw the stuff that Condor Blue makes, I just couldn't help but want to make a review on their stuff. By the way, just as a quick disclaimer, Condor Blue did send me this cage to review, but they didn't tell me what to say. So rest assured, I will give you guys my honest opinion on this cage. The first time I ever knew anything about the brand was when I saw Armando and G Nagata's video using one of their products. I was totally blown away by the whole functionality and of course I'd be lying if I didn't think how cool their cages look. I mean come on, just coming to a gig with Condor Blue stuff alone will make you look like 10 times the professional you already are in my opinion. Anyway I was aching to try their awesome new cage for my EOS R5, however I knew that no one here in Malaysia actually brings them in so I decided to directly contact them to see if they would be interested to sponsor me one. To be honest the first time I wrote to them I didn't expect them to reply back but I knew I had to reach out and try my luck. So to my surprise when they actually did reply my email I was literally over the moon. Anyway to cut the story short Here's my short review on the Condor Blue's EOS R5 cage system. First of all, let's talk about what you get in the box. In the box, they provide you with all the parts of the cage disassembled. However, they do provide you with all the things required to assemble the cage. I have to admit, the first time I saw it in the box fully disassembled, I was a little bit intimidated as I have never assembled a camera cage before this, as the cages I bought before this were all in one piece. So what I did was a quick search on YouTube and I found a video of how to assemble it in their channel. However, that being said, I really wish they would have provided a simple Lego type Step of one, instruction leaflet three. or something for people like me. That would be so handy to have, but no real complaints. Just thought it would have been so useful if they did include a simple diagram leaflet in the box. Oh, by the way, Condor Blue did throw in some HDMI cables and also some mini quick release plates too in the box, which was really nice of them. Thanks so much, guys. Okay, now, so let's talk about the build quality of this cage. Whoa, what can I say? To me, when I first unboxed the cage, I was blown away by the build quality. First thing I noticed when I unboxed it was just how good the cage system looks in the flesh, especially with Signature Condor Blue's bluish tinge. It is definitely a pretty awesome looking cage. Upon touching the cage itself, instantly I could tell that the materials used to make their cages are in a league of their own. The build quality is really solid and it feels as if each piece was carved out from a solid piece of billet. Well, maybe it was, I'm really not sure. Compared to the small rig cage I used before this, there is simply no comparison. Condor Blue's cage, in my opinion, feels way more premium. Moving over now, let's look at the specs of the cage and what do you get in the box when you buy the Condor Blue's EOS R5 cage. Oh, before that, I have to make a mention that they did also provide me with a NATO rail top handle for the cage, which doesn't come included and it is a separate purchase if you want to get the NATO rail top handle too. So the cage comes with an Arca Swiss release plate system that allows you to quickly remove the camera from the cage and it is very useful especially when you need to switch from using a gimbal or a tripod very quickly. The cage comes with two main mounting points which are the Arca Swiss plate that you mount at the base of your camera body just like any other tripod plate and the second mounting point is a cold shoe mount that slots into the camera's hot shoe and can be firmly tightened onto the cage itself. I found that these mounting points really made a difference in terms of planting the camera firmly into the cage. The camera wasn't moving at all and it was just firmly planted. So that's a big plus because the last thing you really want is your camera moving around in the cage. Also at the bottom where the Arca Swiss is slotted in, there is a a lever which secures the Arca Swiss plate in. I found that you do need to tighten that lever a little bit with an Allen key as it is a bit loose straight from the factory and I think they purposely made it that way so that you can easily slot your camera in. This cage comes with 70 threaded quarter inch and 3 8 inch holes and there's plenty of mounting points. In fact more than any cages I've used before this. The cage also comes with an H HDMI and USB-C clamp that can be attached 
if you do decide to use it. However, do bear in mind that if you decide to use the clamp, you will sacrifice some of the articulation of your LCD screen. But I guess if you are using it, it's most likely you already are viewing things on an external monitor. So no real issues there, I guess. This cage also comes with an RE standard accessory mount, which will also ensure sturdiness while mounting accessories. One thing I found really good about the cage is also the fact that the camera buttons aren't obstructed so you can still operate the camera relatively easily even while using the camera just as a stills camera. Okay, so now let's talk about the gorgeous top handle. To me, this has to be the main reason that sets the cage apart from all the competition. Come on, you have to agree with me on this. If you come to a gig with that sort of top handle, immediately I can guarantee you people are going to think that you are a real pro. The top handle is simply gorgeous. However, its gorgeousness isn't just skin deep. This top handle has to be the most functional I have ever used and it it comes with a start stop record button. I mean like how many times have you wanted to shoot a low angle shot only to have to trigger the start stop button on the camera before even doing the shot itself. Now with this top handle you don't need to as there is a proper start stop button so you can just shoot low angle shots exactly when you want to. No more fussing around with your camera record button and wasting memory and time splicing the bits you don't want in post. To me having a top handle with a built-in trigger is a game changer and will definitely make shooting low angle shots way more easier. By the way, just as a side note, the first time I tried the top handle, I actually was wondering why it didn't trigger the start stop recording on my EOS R5. Well, it turns out you need to adjust the switch located here on the handle. Change it from S to P if it's not already on P. All right then, I guess we've reached the final leg of this short review. So what are my thoughts on the Condor Blue's EOS R5 case? Well, to me, I know some may find the cages to be a little pricey compared to the small rig cages, but based on the build quality and the added functionality alone on their cages, especially with that NATO rail top handle that has a start stop record button, I would say that this cage is really worth the extra you have to pay for it. And the best part about the cage is that you can rig it pretty much however you want it to be. Also, the fact that you can use the cage on your camera for both stills and filming is just a big plus to me. And it adds more value to me as I am a hybrid shooter that does want to still shoot occasional video or stills too. Far too often, I do see cages that are too video centric that it makes it not that useful to use if you are a hybrid shooter like me. Also to answer your question on what I would like to have seen on this cage that were left out, for me, it would be great if the cage included a dedicated hole to insert a neck strap because when using the cage, the neck strap has to still be tied to the camera body. Also, I wish that the cage's bottom plate had a built-in Arca Swiss shaped base too, just like the ones that you get on the small rig cages, because it would mean that I wouldn't have to always slide the camera out whenever I need to use the Arca Swiss plate. Because for me, I would like to permanently leave the camera protected in the cage. And finally, I wish the camera could somehow integrate a flat wire to the camera shutter to release cable terminal to connect the start stop button on the NATO rail top handle because I found installing the cable provided to be a bit fiddly and the terminal wire is too close to the edge of the cage and using it for a prolonged period might cause it to get a bit damaged. But I know this is nitpicking. Personally speaking, I have found my new ultimate cage for my EOS R5 and I couldn't be happier. In a nutshell, to me, Condor Blue is one of those companies that really pride themselves in making high quality products and you can see that in everything they make whether it be their cages cables or quick release plates and other stuff too it just screams quality anyway once again i like to thank condor blue for the cage and i look forward to see more great products coming out from this wonderful brand right that's it then i hope that you found this review useful please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace